All right, so in this one, let's actually improve the way the product page looks, uh, the layout for it, and just get it kind of a little bit closer to actually um, where it's going to be in its final state, you know, where we'll have our buttons for adding some descriptions and stuff like that. Um, so before I actually jump into doing that, I actually want to create some descriptions for each product. So in our admin, we go into products and let's just create some uh, placeholder text here. And what I'm going to use is lorem ipsum text. So this is placeholder text and it's really meant to show just what text could be. So I'm just going to go on here, uh, lipsum.com and actually create some paragraphs. So I'm going to do, let's just do like three paragraphs, generate lorem ipsum. And then I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in here, save it. And then I'm going to generate it again. This time I'll do five paragraphs, copy this, put it into a different product. And I'll just kind of copy along and just put, I'm going to put all, the same one in all three products. Okay. So now if we go into our store and we do a refresh, um, we don't have the description showing up yet, but we will shortly. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to change this into a page header. So if we go into bootstraps, um, components, so the page of components. So let's go into it from the big get go. If I'm on getbootstrap.com and I click on components, we see all these down here. And the one I'm going to do is page header. So that's what it's going to look like at the end of the day. And there's the code for it. So let's copy that, go into our template for it. And right above product title, I'm just going to save that in. And we'll take a look, do a refresh. And there we go. We got our page header right there. Obviously, we need to change the text so we can take this title page stuff out and I'm going to replace all of it and paste it in there. All right. Cool. So if I refresh now, it says product one and has this line underneath it. That's cool. That makes it look a little bit better, maybe a little bit more professional having this hit header up there. And maybe at some point we'll want to have like navigation underneath here too to kind of get us where we need to go. But we're going to leave this like this for now. And now we need to change the pictures. We need to update how those pictures look. So what I'm going to do underneath the page header is I'm going to create a new row. So div class equals to row. And within this row, I want to separate it from pictures and description. So pictures over here, description over here, right? So I want to have all of my pictures in one side and then all, all of my descriptor stuff on the other. So what I'll do is the first side, I'll do div class equals column small, and I'll just do four. Because if you remember all of the rows in the in each, so there's a row and then all the columns within that row, it, it adds up to 12. So if on the outside I do four, then the other side would have to be eight. Now within that is treated like little rows too. So this will still work, um, but it's gonna be inheriting from this one. So it's actually gonna, the biggest it will be is column fall, small four with the exception of when it goes below small four, then it'll be what this says. All right, so let's just see what that means. So if I save it and do a refresh in here, notice the images here got a lot smaller. Uh, and that's good. That's what we want to see. We want to see the images get smaller um, when they need to be. Uh, otherwise, we will see that there's going to be some errors running and maybe it's not going to look great or whatever. Um, so on those small ones, we have them at, uh, going across three times because of this right here. So let's actually make it where it's just six. And by deleting that, I just got it goes halfway through and that's what's showing up down here. Uh, but that's not that great because we don't we don't want the featured image down here. We want it up above. But we also want our description. So let's actually add in a new column. So column next to this. And this is going to be eight because it's going to fill in that other 12. Basically, I'm going to tab these in just so we can see that they are within this row. And all of this is within this column for small. So if I refresh, I see that nothing changed. So let's add product dot description in here and now we see that text ah, but it's not showing up as the way we wanted it to so line breaks add that filter and then now it shows the line breaks for that text which is cool that's what we want to see all right so now that we have this um, let's fix the picture a little bit better and perhaps we don't want it to be so much different but yet 
different enough to where maybe the picture, the main picture is right here, and then there's some pictures below it. So that's where this is going to have to come in handy, is we might even have to do a full new for loop. So let's actually copy this, paste that in here, in the for loop up here, in the if clause up here. And then down here, we'll say if not image dot featured. Then we refresh. Now they are pulled over to the side, which is good. That's what we want to see. Um, so maybe we also want it to be where it's not column small six, medium six, excuse me. It would be all the way across, no matter what. And that pulls all those down there. Since this image is so small, let's actually look at a different product. Let's look at the t-shirt one. Ah, that looks a little bit better. Now we have our featured image being a lot bigger and we can actually get rid of featured now that we have that. And it's showing it up pretty nicely. And right below that div, I'm gonna just do an HR. Just do a refresh. And now we have a, a line that's separating the thumbnail image with the main t-shirt image right there. Now this is starting to look good. It's starting to kind of come together for us, but you know, maybe I actually want to have all of this text and pictures like way up higher. Maybe I don't want to have t-shirt there. Maybe I want to have it here instead. So let's kind of see how that's going to look. So maybe instead of this page header, I'm going to just go to cut it out and paste it up here for now, just so we can see what it might look like if it's on the other side. On column small eight, I'm going to put that there and then do add an HR line, do a refresh. Ah, that looks a lot better probably, right? So that makes a little bit more sense to jump in right into the picture and then it shows that, that product right there. And perhaps we want to add some more stuff before this description like the price and availability and then maybe an add to cart button over here at some point, uh, but we won't do that quite yet. Now, what about this product one? See, we've got these little images and we probably wanna get rid of this one. It's not very good. Um, and then product three doesn't even have any images, so we probably need to have placeholder images at some point, but we'll have to come back to that. For now, this is actually starting to shape up. So how about underneath our t-shirt, or I mean our product title, and before a description, I'm gonna add another HR line here, and I'm gonna add product.price, All right, so 29.99, and we can just say price, there we go. Um, so that's pretty good. And then maybe like shipping free with $25 plus purchase, something like that. Uh, and then maybe a break. All right, so that's starting to shape up a little bit. And then maybe up here uh, with this H1, we wanna add in uh, a href equals to, I'm just gonna put a hashtag for now, and then I'll class, uh, I'll do poll right, so this is gonna pull it to the right, and I'll just say add to cart. All right, so now we have this add to cart over here. We'll turn that into a button later, but for now, let's, let's get in there, right? Like, I mean, what else more would we need specifically right now Maybe at some point we would want to have customer views and all that, but that might be getting a little bit ahead of ourselves because do we really need that at this point? Probably not. We just need uh, to actually create a cart that will allow us to accept adding to cart. And maybe we'll have different sizes and stuff like that. So we still might change this quite a bit, but for now this is, this is coming together. And then we will need to do something about this main page with, the, with how the, the size of the uh, items are. Like we don't want them to be staggered like this, especially with this image right here. All right, so in the next one, we'll probably actually create the cart and we'll do some more stuff um, as far as adding to the cart and all that. Uh, but for now, this is a pretty good start for our product page or at least a better start than what we've had so far. Uh, it's really starting to shape up to a real product page uh, with few exceptions, of course. And also we wanna have it to where when we click on these, maybe that image changes to whatever image we clicked on. Uh, so that's going to be another thing we'll have to work on at some point too. All right, so we will see you in the next one when we add the cart.